Hello, my name is uh, Florian, and I'm going to speak in English to specifically people living as foreigners in the Netherlands, like myself. Maar toch ga ik even iets in het Nederlands zeggen. Jullie kunnen horen aan mijn accent. Ik ben Duitser, en uh, ik als Duitser met mijn nationaliteit, ik ga Nederlanders niet uh, vertellen uh, op wie of hoe ze moeten stemmen bij deze verkiezingen. But instead, um, I will just tell you the story of how I became politically active, because I've been living in the Netherlands for more than 15 years. I love this country and the city where I live, Rotterdam, very much. And because of that love, because I care, I also became politically active. And um, the moment where this happened was actually four years ago. And uh, the trigger were the national elections back then and a letter written by one of the politicians as part of his campaign to all Dutch people. And I think that letter is insufficiently known among non-Dutch people living in the Netherlands because it never has been translated. So actually I translated it into English myself and I will read its beginning to you. January 22nd, 2017 to all Dutch people. There is something wrong with our country. How can it be that we as a country are so prosperous, but some people behave so poorly? People who increasingly set the mood in our country, who want to throw over everything that we, the Netherlands, have worked so hard for. We won't let this happen, won't we? By far most of us are good-willed. This is the silent majority. We want the best for our country. We work hard, help each other and think that the Netherlands are quite a cool country. But we are very concerned about how we are treating each other. Sometimes it seems as if nobody behaves normally anymore. You've probably seen it. People who seem to behave in increasingly antisocial ways, in traffic, in public transport and on the streets, who think that they always come first, who dump their waste in the street, who spit on train conductors or hang around in groups, harassing, threatening or abusing people. This is not normal. We feel a feeling, uh, sorry, we feel a growing discomfort with people who abuse our freedom to ruin everything. Although they just come to our country for that freedom. So, here we have it. So he's actually talking about immigrants. People who refuse to adapt, condemn our habits. This clearly alludes to the anti-racist, anti-black peat uh, protests, and who reject our values, who harass gay people, women wearing short skirts, or call ordinary Dutch people racists. Again, this is uh, alluding to the black peat protests. I understand all people who think as follows. If you reject our country so fundamentally, I prefer you to leave. This is actually what I feel too. Behave normally or go away. So who wrote this? Gert Wilders? No. Thierry Baudet? No. Some other right extremist populist crackpot? No. This was written by the Prime Minister of this country, Mark Rutte himself, uh, representing his supposedly liberal BVD party, a party with which almost all other parties in this country have coalitions on several municipal or regional or even national levels, including the so-called political left. So, uh, and uh, even if you take the, the supposedly left people like the Greens and the Socialists, they use partly the same rhetoric of the concerned citizens um, to which people need to uh, listen, etc., etc. So, this was the point where I said, enough isn't enough. And in Dutch you say, kleure bekennen, and that means something, you have to take a stand. Yeah? Yeah, you, as foreigners living in this country, of course, you know, we also feel as guests, and uh, we are cautious you know, to jump to conclusions or to judgments. Um, we rather observe uh, be before becoming too judgmental, but uh, the black beat phenomenon was something that thoroughly uh, irritated uh, most of us, I guess, if, if you're watching to this. So uh, this is just a continuation of it. It's, it's, it's really the normalization of 
right-wing populist discourse uh, into the mainstream of society, the mainstream of uh, politics, and at some point you have to say, okay, when I identify with this country, with this society, I cannot just be a bystander anymore. I, I have to support activist causes. So I ask you to do the same. Thank you for listening.